Yo, easy, bro. It's locked. Jeez, Louise, you almost ripped the fucking building down. Someone's here in a toy. It's fixed. It's fixed. Good morning. If you haven't for just with the Civic, this isn't it. Link is in the description. TommyFA.com. But Greet hasn't had the E36 out in like four or five years. It's been a year. Well, hold BC on. Racing. Hold on. Let me say something. It's probably been closer to three because the last two years I drive it once, it'd blow up and I'd like, <laughs> get rid of it. So, so what'd you I do? Apart the dash to try to figure it out. Don't worry about that. Looks good. It's Does fine. she party? Are you no. here to party? Oh, absolutely. As long as I'm allowed to. Come on. Of course. So I brought it to a drift event this past weekend and it kept shutting off on me. So I put the car in the lift. The power cable for the alternator was arcing out onto the power steering line. Who could have thought that? Probably Remember when you right. called me and I said... I was like, hey, do you think that the power steering line hitting the starter wire would be an issue? And you're like, yes. I'm like, all right, bye. <laughs> Dude, you need M moldings. This thing's a travesty with these Dude, fucking 328 well, moldings. The M bumpers, Such a fuck boy. They're like 180 bucks. Shred the gnar. Smells good now. I heard it and I was like, I said, that's Grant. And Filmer's like, I don't know, it sounds like an LS. I was like, oh yeah. Sounds like a fucking 68. Dude, fucking 68 Corvette. <laughs> oh, he's put his seatbelt on. Shit's about to get weird. The crotch belt and everything. You got it. I tried to drive a car without a crotch belt and you feel like you're like going to slide out from underneath. It's called submarining. Well, it's called submarine belt, so it yeah. makes sense. All right, so we'll let the filmer take over. Great shred the gnar. His exhaust is bouncing around like crazy. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, that's loud. Good thing he'll hit Rudnick's car before anyone else's. Or my Colorado. I guess that would suck. It has so much grip. Yeah. We couldn't see after the second donut we could see. I'm like, I know we're not competing against each other, so can you give me your alignments? He's like, I got you. So the thing is like fast as shit. Look at my valve cover gaskets leaking already. That is a junk LS. What's that squeaking? You got a hamster wheel in there? This will cause an issue eventually, I bet. So, welcome to the Hoonigan Burnyard, where Grant fucks our shit up. That was a good one. Dude, we literally couldn't see you after the second donut. I couldn't see anything, and then the last one, I just like held it on limiter, and I'm like, and it started going backwards. I'm like, I don't hope I don't hit the canter. Cause it was like, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you smoke, dude. The, the ground is sticky. Is sticky. Ah, uh, yo, step oh, on the. It's sticky. That's weird. Dude, fucking rooster tail all over the fucking driveway. You're such a boomer, dude. <laughs> Grant can't be the only one that has fun. It's been a long time since I've taken out the Rado and did a donut. Actually, it was Saturday, but, wait, was it Friday? Friday. This is Friday, but it's been a long time since I filmed it. So I'm gonna do shred the gnar a little bit and see if I can get as much smoke as Grant. I'm not not thinking it's gonna happen. Right here. <laughs> Why do you like you just woke up? Kratom, probably. Dude was popping Kratoms from the fucking gas station up the road. Pretty good stuff. No. Jack says it did nothing. He took 11. Yeah, Jack's weird though. He's got a tolerance to Kratom.
righty, real quick, I wanted to announce this uh, for two reasons. One, we notified the winner of the Macro Tool Cart. His name is Nathan o Okarinen. Okarinen, Oikarinen. Don't really know how to pronounce it. I'll put his Instagram right here, or the filmer will. He's the winner of the Macro Tool Cart. I called him. I emailed him. I called him. I told him something was wrong with his order, and he gave me his number. And I called him and I said, "Yo, you on the tool cart?" Dude was super stoked. He's been an OG since day one, which we love when OGs win. But if you didn't win, don't be upset because I do have two, and I was thinking of keeping this, but I kind of love the way my shop is set up, and this thing kind of stands out like a sore thumb. So I'm going to do a special for Black Friday, Black Friday Cyber Monday. Uh, next week, we're going to do a thing. Just stay tuned to the videos and the Instagram. We're dropping a new product, just one, very limited. I don't know the exact numbers yet. I'll have to talk to the producer of those items. Um, I will get them December 1st, so just as the giveaway ends, I'll get those items and we'll ship them out. He's always very good about this. And we're going to do a special if you buy the new item, and then we'll just do like one entry for any item for Black Friday weekend uh, or that week or whatever, but it'll enter you to win that one. I wanted to keep this one, but then I looked at my shop and I said, hell no. So this is the shop, if you saw the other video, yeah, last video. I really am feeling the white with the stainless or aluminum top. This cart is white with the same, if this is a stainless, the other one's aluminum, but they look the same. And that tool cart just sticks out and it's a little too Colette for me. So for my shop and the, and the vibe here, I think they're really gangster. I think it'd be cool in like my office or something, but I'm not gonna have a $1,700 tool cart in my office with like papers in it. So I'm just gonna keep rocking this one and I'm gonna give away the other one. Stay tuned for that giveaway. It'll be going on next week in conjunction with the Civic giveaway. So basically if you enter for the tool cart again, you will also be entered for the Civic, but we'll just give away, we'll give away another one. Fuck it. And the new product, is right here. I think you guys will be super stoked. Anyone who's had one of these keychains, key tags can attest. They're gangster. I modified mine a little bit just to show you. Instead of having them hang down so they beat on my leg all day, I did it like this. This one is the O of OG. It's held up really well. These are super high quality. So we're gonna drop another one. The leather's actually starting to be soft now after two years. We're gonna do another one and I love this one. This will probably replace all mine. The Restore and Enjoy. It's my favorite design from this drop, and weirdly enough, it's your guy's least favorite. It's selling the worst out of all the designs, but I don't give a fuck, because I love it. Anyway, congrats to Nathan. Here's Instagram again. He's got an E46, two of them. Get stoked on next week winning the other Mac tool cart. Let's get on with the video. I think I'm gonna do some TI shit. Also, before I end this, and I don't wanna forget my keys there, tomorrow we are finally taking out the Pleasure Evo, and we're gonna bring the Civics to Will Zig's Will Zig Racing Manor. I'm so fucking stoked to get a free open track to be able to shred this thing and not be fucking scared. So stay tuned for that, it'll be this weekend. We're bringing this, we're bringing the two Civics, Rudnick's coming, and we're just gonna fucking shred the NAR, and hopefully I'll be able to put down and get comfortable with the Evo too. That's kind of my goal. But I'm gonna go grab the TI. Give you an idea what the uh, parking lot looks like after Grant and I did our our donuts, our donuts. Anyway, it's a new day, and I've got a surprise. We we uh, we talked to our good friends over our at Fabbot. Uh, Matt owns Fabbot. He's hooked us up with tons of shit. That Colorado has a Fabbot transmission adapter. The white Colorado has a trans mount, a four link, a bunch of Fabbot parts. And now we've got this. So, I owe you guys a 10 second car. Just kidding, I owe you guys a truck 318 Ti. So when we first moved in the shop, if you remember, I bought the old slick top. I don't remember this ever being an issue, but I guess it is. And I was thinking of trucking it, but I didn't know what I was gonna do for engine or transmission or, oh, this kinda makes me sick in here. Does it start? I didn't know what I was going to do for anything. Well, Matt over at Fabbop decided to dabble in the K rear wheel drive game. You know this is a hot, hot game right now. Everyone's K swapping, rear wheel drive K swapping things. And I was going to LS this. I didn't really know, but 
after talking to him, he has some cool products that you're gonna see next week that he sent me. And I'm considering putting them in this. Hold on, there's something on the lens. So anyway, considering putting the parts into this car. Now, that would mean this car would be K24 swapped and rear wheel drive still. And finally, our friend with the jump pack rolls up, ready to go. Have you ever jumped a, an E36 before? Never, huh? You're gonna learn today. So, I'll tell you what he has, just because I think it's fun. He produced, hold on, do it again. He produced a kit that basically turns the backside of a K series into an LS. Which is weird, right? So you need a T56 trans and all that stuff. And I'm gonna show it next week. But basically, it turns the back where the clutch would go. Yeah, she runs good. Uh, into an LS. So we're gonna stack adapters. We're gonna use the AR5 from a Colorado and uh, it makes it accept an LS clutch. This thing runs rough. It's running on like one cylinder. Oh. So, uh-oh, that noise isn't good. This thing's confused. Um, so back of the K24 or K20 adapted to LS, um, it uses no f adapter flywheel, but it does use a flywheel adapter, which allows you to run a stock LS flywheel on a K24 crank. The cool thing about that is if you've ever run one of these adapters, it's an absolute fucking nightmare to use those uh, flywheel ad adapter flywheels. They're like this thick. His kit has a little thing that adapts the crank to accept an LS flywheel with a starter and everything. Um, you'll see it all next week. He'll be sending it out to me. But the cool thing is when we swap the Colorados, we use an AR5 and we use his adapter kit to turn the AR5 into an LS bell housing. So we'll de dual adaptering for this car and we'll run the adapter to the 4L60 bell housing to an adapter to a slingshot transmission. Now the slingshot, the slingshot, the Solstice and the Colorado all share the same transmission as an AR5. The bell housing and tail shaft housing are different on each car, but the slingshot one is the perfect shifter location for an E36. So my idea is if I want to build a Thrasher, a truck, something funny, something real rudnicky, I could take an E36, I could put a K24 in. He's also sending me mount blanks so we can build our own custom mounts, but they bolt to the block. And in doing so, I can attach the K24 to the car, attach the slingshot transmission to the car. He makes an adapter for a drive shaft, and we're gonna basically get this thing swapped real easy. The most expensive part about LS swapping is the T56, TR6060. The most expensive part about K swapping is the transmission setup. Faba has solved that in my opinion. Now, upfront costs a little higher. You blow up a trans like we did, it's 250 bucks, Colorado one. I don't know about slingshot ones. I don't know about Solstice ones, but the AR5s aren't that bad. If you buy one slingshot one, you can always change the tail shaft housing to the slingshot one because you have the, the parts. And if the slingshot one were to break, you can obviously steal the parts. Um, usually the only thing that breaks is third gear. So I'm gonna be attempting to K24 rear wheel drive swap this with two adapter plates and we'll see how that goes. Wiring specialties makes a, a wiring harness and then I wanna truck this thing. This thing needs to be trucked. My goal is to have it done relatively quickly because LZ's having something and I've got about a month. It seems like I got about a month. I don't know if it's gonna be possible, but if I can get this thing just to even drive a little bit, I'll be good. Look at this thing, what a piece of shit. The guy who sold me this thing, if he's watching, he kind of fucked me, this thing, look at this. Like this doesn't even come close to staying in. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Anyway, so this car's fucked. It's totally fucked. I don't know, it's like running on two cylinders. Rudnick wants the transmission for a Miata, so I told him he can have it if he pulls the engine. I don't need to make that money. I wonder if he'd mind if I did this though. 
This thing's definitely running on two cylinders. Why the car just shut off. It's kind of a long burnout, no? I'm dizzy as fuck. All right, so if you could believe this, I'm gonna pass this car on to running. This is the only car I own that I would trust. I don't really trust I'm working on it, but it's, you can't fuck it up. So I'm gonna fuck around for the intro of his video, and I'm gonna end this by handing the keys over. He's gonna get the engine out, take the trans, and do all that. You excited to work on my car, dude? Why would you do that? Listen to it. It can't get worse than it is now. Dude, you got to get in and feel what I was doing. What were you doing? You'll see. Just get in. So, anyway, I'm going to end the video there. Tomorrow we're going to the track. We're going to do some gangster shit. Get excited. Stay tuned. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.